I guess in this video I am going to discuss what how to drop a specific column from a table. So at here first I am going to show you the table that I am going to choose. So at here right to select and here start from. So selecting the table and here or department. Now here let's execute. So this is the contents inside department table. Now uh, from this department table, I want to uh, remove manager ID column. So for this add here, uh, let's write uh, drop. So add here you can find uh, drop exiting drop or uh, column drop database drop store procedure and table. So let's uh, uh, go to drop column, press enter. Now here the first thing is you need to write at this point add here this is the column name you should specify here column name and next table name that required. So column that I am going to uh, remove manager id. So add here write manager underscore id. Manager id and here the table that I am going to use departments. Now here after let's execute this query. So add here command completed successfully. So one more important point add here currently I'm using Adam database. So this is the connection and your table inside Adam. So uh, according to uh, setting connection, connection should be match. If not match then there you get some kind of error. So let's uh, check add here department so see at here or uh, manager id is not there that means uh, after executing this query manager id that drop so this is the way we can or uh, drop uh, any specific columns from table by using azure data studio so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you